when comparing moisture analyzers, it is critical to understand what the technical specifications mean and which are the most important ones. We will briefly guide you through them in this video. The most important parameter for a moisture analyzer is repeatability or precision. It describes how close together the moisture content results are when the same sample is tested repeatedly under the same conditions and on the exact same instrument. It is expressed as standard deviation in the datasheet. As it depends on the sample weight, it is important to compare repeatability specifications for the same initial sample weight. Please note that the repeatability is given for an ideal sample and in reality you might not reach this value. The readability is the smallest difference which can be displayed on your device. It can be given in grams or percent moisture or dry content. Do not confuse readability with repeatability. Readability is simply how the result is displayed. Readability does not give any indication of the moisture analyzer performance. Many models have 0.01% readability and this is sufficient for most applications and samples. For samples with very low moisture content or for applications where the second percent moisture content digit is relevant, a higher readability of 0.001% is required. The recommended percent moisture content tells you the manufacturer's recommendation on the lowest moisture content to be measured with a specific model. The switch-off criterion defines when the measurement ends. There are mainly two options to switch off the measurement. Either you can end the measurement after a certain time, or you consider the weight loss per time. For example, you could stop the measurement when the average weight loss is less than 1 mg over the past 50 seconds. The availability of different switch-off criteria means that you have more flexibility to adapt your measuring method and therefore to optimize your measurement. The drying temperature is the defined application temperature. Be aware that the drying temperature is not the temperature of the sample during drying. The drying temperature has a direct impact on the moisture result. If it's too low, you do not get all the moisture out, and if it's too high, you burn the sample. The drying temperature is an important method parameter to be adapted to get the same results as from a reference, typically the drying oven. A wide temperature range is therefore important when you need method flexibility especially when you have different types of samples. The drying program describes the heating profile of the measurement. The most common programs are the standard drying program, which is suitable for most samples. Rapid drying is good for samples with moisture content higher than 30%. Step drying, which can be used to differentiate between surface and bound moisture, and gentle drying for skin forming or temperature sensitive samples. The heating source, together with its regulation, are defined as heating system. In moisture analyzers, samples are usually heated by absorption of infrared radiation. Common sources of such radiation are halogen lamps, quartz lamps, and metal rods. The most important heating performance factor is precise and fast temperature regulation, which is best delivered by halogen lamps because of their low mass and therefore fast reaction time. Further, an even heat distribution on the sample surface is essential for repeatable and reliable results. The heating performance is not visible on a datasheet. That's why it's best to ask the manufacturer for a demonstration in real life. Here is the summary of the definitions of all technical specifications we have learned. Comparing data sheets is important, but selecting the right moisture analyzer goes beyond technical specifications. Real measurement performance for your specific sample, ease of use, and data management might also be important to consider.
If you want to know more, check out our video playlists and feel free to contact us.